Yeah, y'all stack up and so you're you're back here harassing people okay, for the second day straight? Uh, it's not harassing. It was I'm yesterday. Gonna, I'm going to respect this is, you. This is my question. This is kind of like a broader statement. But yes. Maybe it'll go into questions. But in the Bible, what you were talking about, it says in Hebrews 10, 26, or if we go on sinning deliberately after receiving the knowledge of truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a fearful expectation of judgment and a fury fire that will consume the adversaries. Anyone who has set aside of the law of Moses dies without mercy on the evidence of two or three witnesses. All right. Now, I probably don't have much room to lecture the public, and I plan on not doing that. Uh, I know, I know. But um, I grew up in a Lutheran family, Christian. Um, got confirmed after that. Faith kind of fell out. When I got to college, I wasn't really expecting to get closer with God. I got closer with God inherently through a group called Young Life, and they taught me a lot. And in this country, we have fundamental beliefs that have already been set in stone. Some that are still coming forward today. Like, for example, in 2015, the Obergelfo case allowed for people to have same-sex marriage. Okay, but wait a second. Okay, what's the Finland fish? Yes, it is. Let me finish this. So, in the United States, you're the citizen of the United States, I'm guessing? Yes? I'm a citizen of the Yes, I'm right. Do you have a citizen of the United Do you vote? I understand that. I do not vote. You don't vote. I don't vote. No, 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 don't let him not vote. I don't. I don't pledge. Hey, I'm going to tell you something. I don't pledge allegiance to the flag. I will not swear to a judge in the name of God in the court of law and put my hand in the Bible and make the judge my God. I don't do any of it. Okay, so, sir, and that is your right. That is your, that is your fundamental right. That is your fundamental right that is given to you by the Constitution in this country and it protects it. That is awesome. But because you live in the United States, you have to respect other people's rights as well. And those rights. And those rights are I do. I do you in one respect, at least, that if you don't like what I say about what the Bible says, you're free to go. I mean, you are on all the so I have the right to Sir, sir, sir. If you choose to stay, and you don't agree, and you want to go on the screen, are you going to be on your screen again? Yeah, I'm sorry. Sir, 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 I'm sorry. Because I respect your rights to talk, even though, like I said, even though I disagree with them, that's okay. But I respect you person because <laughs> you function and we can talk, right? Uh, no, no, I don't okay. do that. Now, um, <laughs> I don't know you as a person. I don't know what your experience is with God because everyone's path here is different with God. Some people don't believe in God, and that's okay. And some people do. You have to take time to get to know Yes. Now, with Christianity, though, it's not about... Oh, what, we're all Christians. It's your specific relationship with God. And you can believe whether Jesus Christ came down and came to save your sins or not. And that is okay. Now, what I don't think is maybe right, and right and wrong is subjective, of course. But what I don't think is right is if you're sitting here lecturing the public that you're going to hell because you're participating in loving another person of your choice. When God gave us the fundamental decision to make choices, He gave us the nut. Uh, sir, uh, this is, I will let you talk. Uh, yes, I will finish up what I'm saying. Yes, I understand that. I'm not looking for an answer. I'm just voicing my opinion because that is the right I was given by this country. Right. 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 the creation, God made them male. And female, and yeah, he said, female? You will leave your mother and, and the two and find your wife, and the two will become flesh. Okay, then I will say, I will be the same thing. No man and woman are not. God said it again. God will be the man and the two will become flesh. We have a man and a woman. That's the way it is. At the beginning, there's Adam and Eve. Not Adam and Steve. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Yo, Steve from Minecraft? You are welcome. What if you're non binary and not within the gender spectrum? What do you say about that? What scripture says and not science? He created male nor female. He created male and female. He didn't create 40 to 50 different genders. The list will get to 100 by the end of the year if Joe Biden doesn't drop dead. All right? And I don't want him to. I'm Hey, hey, let me ask you a question. Are you willing to go to the judgment? You're an ideal, but even those who didn't follow the What's that? He's been out here a while. We've been out here actually both together for a while. I was talking to someone else over there. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I like it for like two hours. <laughs> We've been here probably two or three hours, and not all of it's been recorded. It's just, we're, it's part of the recording keeps everyone here accountable, including ourselves. No, no, that makes sense. We also, whatever, we do post some of it on YouTube. Oh, really? Yeah. And a lot of, there are some people that like to shut down because it's very offensive to them. But, I'm yeah. tell you, yeah. if you ever walk up on the day of damnation with my boyfriend and arm, I will sit down and I will suck his dick in front of you. Actually, that won't happen. Unfortunately, they'll, everyone will bow their knee to him. on the day of judgment. I he just said he was. The God of heaven is... <laughs> really no man can come up with his own thoughts. He's either going to be with the thoughts of the creator, the God of heaven and earth, or he's going to be with the uh, other side. <laughs> There's no middle ground. I know, but I'm also. I am all close the circle. Don't let him out. There are nobody like you there. And they all tell me that I will find my place in heaven because that God makes God makes no mistakes. Oh, why do gay people exist? Oh, why do gay people exist? Because men make it. There is a, several YouTube channels, actually, but I don't remember them all. Oh, oh, some this is actually the this is actually the most uh, wild I've seen it get, and I've, I've I've only met I only met him in person this past year, but I've known him for a while over prayer calls and different things like that. Um, I've come I've come a long ways in many ways with deliverance from evil spirits and other things like that as well as uh, different forms of programming that, that this and, the, and everybody that's, that's going against the ways of God are programmed against it by society in general and some more specifically have been through what's called SRA or satanic ritual abuse as children and otherwise so do you just like zap away the evil spirits it's not just a, it's a matter of breaking all uh, agreements with them it, actually the Ghostbusters says you know it's a lot more than that.
Jenny too. Oh, Jenny. Oh, Jenny. I am ever sorrowful. You have to tell what the still I was ever a Southern Baptist seminary grad, and I am ever sorrowful that I was ever one of their hypocrites. No denomination. We're uh, followers of Christ. Um, it's not a denomination. It's just what we do. Um, we are Hebrews by grafting and Israelites according to the Messiah. When, when you're born again into the child, into the child, as a child of God, you are grafted into the into the nation of Israel. You could say that, I guess. Christian is a function of Israel. It's a it's a function of the Holy Spirit. Are you willing to accept that in my personal community? A true Christian, a true Israelite or Jew, is one who follows Christ. Those that you could say it, but not quite. Or Israelite of a different. I don't know what tribe I am at this point. Because when you're grafted into Israel, you're grafted into one of the tribes as he guides you. It's, it's a deep subject that's hard to describe sometimes. But Christian, yeah, that's one of our functions by the Holy Spirit. So you could call us a Christian, sort of. Do you believe that Jesus forgives four sins? Do you believe that you sin? Okay, so do you believe that you consistently sin? Because we live in a world where sin is a consistent thing and everyone sins every day. And I'm going to give you what Scripture says in the first epistle of John. He who is born of God does not sin. What does that mean? No, I'm going to explain it. That means that he does not live in a consistent pattern of willful, planned ahead, orchestrated sin. That means if I say I'm going to go to the bar on Friday night and say, well, God, forgive me, I got drunk. If I if I say I'm going to go have sex Friday night, God, forgive me, you ain't saying. So if sex is in here, you are saved. And the Lord will save you from any sin that you commit from the day that you accept him as your savior to the day that you go to heaven. And so, and so, if being gay consists of a sin, it is on the same level as stealing or lying. And so, so you have no reason to hate gay people for an extra level. What do you think I hate gay people? I don't believe you hate gay people. But I think you should not be preaching to a very specific sin. Okay. Our, our point right now is what we're trying to make is that we expect your belief to have whatever views you do because you live in the United States and that is a blessing that we all get to say. Now, not only we'll get into the citizen part, I'll talk about that later, but first we'll talk about the old people. We don't the whole time. We got a lot of other people here. I don't think any of them really want to have And I've been respectful and have been listening to what you've been saying. Nobody wants to hear me. Why are they still standing because around? Because it's entertaining. You know, I passed by Tim Miller, you know Tim Miller, on the way here, and he went, are you going to go join that mob? And I said, yes, I am. And he said, you know, if you talk to him, you keep him there. And I said, exactly, it's entertaining. And sir, again, again wait, wait, I'm going to talk about your entertainment. Okay, go What ahead. do you watch on TV? What do I watch on TV? How do you like to be entertained? How do I like to be entertained? I'm a musician. You're a musician. What yeah. do you sing about? Everything. Like what? What's your favorite thing to sing about? What is my favorite thing to sing about? I don't think you'd really like that answer. Well, I want to hear it if you care to tell. Mm, okay, I sing classical music. I sing about God and such at times, but I also am a bisexual woman. Okay. Who goes out on the weekends. Hey, yeah. I don't think you want to hear about the rest of my music no, taste. No, I, 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 I don't think you but, said enough, yeah. and I'm going to continue to say, it's not yeah, entertainment to hear about your future destiny if you don't accept the blood covering of Christ and your kids. So, but, it is not entertainment. I'm not here to entertain you. Okay, okay. Um, it's a serious matter so, for all of you here. The coming of Christ is very soon. Yeah. It's sooner. Yeah. No, he's 
gonna come like a thief in the night when you leave. He's gonna come like lightning flashes from the east to the west. Bam, bam. And before you know it, you're bam, bam in hell. So, we live in the United States, so I get to that. That doesn't look like anyone else wants to know if that's Come over here. 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 I need you all to respect this man. You want to talk to me. So please do not disrespect me. This is the same thing that they did in Sodom and Gomorrah. They beat down the door of Lot and said, Let me have the two men. And Lot said, No, do not do this wicked thing. I'll give you my two daughters. They did not want the two daughters. They wanted the men. Then they proceeded to bust down the door of the house. And then God destroyed the city of Bottom and Gomorrah in fire brimstone. and brimstone. And then America and the whole world will one day soon go down in fire and brimstone. Because all that you see, all of the elements you see, are going to be burned with fervent heat. And if you are caught in it, you will be. That's my name. Go ahead. going to determine whether we go to heaven or hell. No, of course not. Of course. So why are you actually telling people that they will go to hell? Because God sends messengers to warn the wicked. If I do not warn the wicked in Ezekiel chapter 23, and you all die and go to hell, I've got blood on my hands, I cannot have it. But there, there, are, there are people who are going out and doing these things and telling people of what's going on with the wicked. For example, in the Bible, for example, in the Bible, Bible, there was a prostitute. She was ripped out of the home in which she could sleep with another man, and then they were going to sue her in the middle of the street. Jesus watched. And then the Hebrews asked Jesus, what should we do? And then they were about to see a test for Jesus, and Jesus said, For if you do that, then what are you of your own sin? Okay, so I'm not mad. I want you to speak. I don't think. You are valid in saying whether people are going to heaven or hell because you do not have the authoritative decision to determine. You know, and you know what? I don't have the authoritative decision. So why but you I am telling you what, what the Word of God says. I am not the one who is going to send you to hell. And He will. And the Word of God also says that in, in the Bible, you know, when it speaks of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes, I do. And I'm trying to lift the burden off of you. And you made a good point about that, but you know what? He says, I am humble. I am lowly and gentle. Come take your burdens upon me. But these people do not want to lose the yoke of slavery that they are born under. They want to persist in sin, and they want to even mock it. It says in the Bible in Matthew 11, Take my yoke, this is what Jesus said, Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find distress in your soul. No matter what, even if God, even if you 
know. Even if you disagree whether people are gay or not, according to your beliefs that you have in the Bible, I respect that, right? I respect your belief to have that. Yes. But God loves all of his children, and he made each of us in his own image. We are all a part of him. Imagine you're telling me that these people are going to go to hell for beliefs that they have and how they're made in his image. It's ridiculous. And, and, sir, I don't think... Now I'm going to go in here. It says that homosexuals, sodomites, adulterers...